Hello everyone, my name is Ting Wing, and in this video, I'd like to show you how I edit this bike photos. When I took this photo, I was very lazy and I didn't do any white balance ahead of time. So let's go into the first photo. Let's minimize this work area and this bottom area. First thing you want to go to is go to the develop. Ooh. And you want to fix the white balance. And so the quickest way to fix the white balance in Lightroom is to click on this eyedropper tool and select the place where it's supposed to be white. As you can see, the photo gotten better, but we need to clean this up a little bit more. So starting from the bottom until we see lens corrections, check enable profile corrections and check remove chromatic aberrations. Now going all the way to the top, Let's work on the basic adjustment. So usually for landscape photo, I would move, I would decrease the highlights. But in this case, I want to increase the highlight until I get the white that I wanted. So increasing the highlight to 100, bring back, uh, make the photos wider. Here you can see Command Z to go back and then Command Z again, Command Shift Z to get back to the to the adjustment. So as you can see, it's pretty significant. Here with the shadows, I will raise it up until I remove the shadows from the photos. About right there. Click on the pictures to go in to see. If you raise it up even higher, you can see that the, all the shadows have disappeared, but it leaves you with this very HDR looking image. So we don't want to do that. We want to go back to 65. I am not very happy with these pictures because I want the white background to be white. So okay, I raise the exposure to 0.65 and make sure I check the handle to see if I can still see the quality of the uh, white against the background. Click on Y key and you can see the before and after pictures. Now we're going to mess with the clarity. Usually with landscape pictures, I try not to use clarity that much because it will make the picture looks a little fake. But in this bike photo, raising the clarity will help signify the object even more, especially in this white handle against the white background. Watch as you can see that the white handle is more defined against the white background. So Command Z to see what's before and then Command Shift Z to get back. So let's go back to the before and after. As you can see before it was very muddy and dark because I didn't set my white balance before I took this photo. But since I took it raw, you can see that I can modify the photo even more to make it look like it was shot in a very expensive studio. Now, keep in mind that I was using two lights, one on the, on the left and one on the right. And so the quality of the pictures with human eyes, uh, it was very dim still. But with Lightroom, you can make it so that the picture looks like this. Now, to finish off the project, I can duplicate the fixes throughout so you don't have to uh, mess with each one. So to, to do that, make sure that you have the edited one selected. Now we want to select the rest. So scroll to the all the way to the right, hold shift, and then click on the last pictures. Now you have everything selected. Click on sync. Make sure you have you check all and then synchronize. As you can see, everything has been synchronized to the modification of the first pictures. So now we just do things like uh, aligning the photo. For example, this photo has not been aligned. So the good thing about Lightroom is you just take the photo and you go back home to your studio and then you fix this every single defect that you see. In this case, we're going to rotate this until the handlebar is right in the middle. So that is a quick tutorial on how to edit a bike photo when you don't have white balance set before you take the pictures. Again, my name is T-Wing. And if you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe.